Guys, I'm giving you a wonderful recipe for your leftover Thanksgiving turkey coming up. Thanksgiving's over, guys. What are you gonna do about it? We have bags and bags of turkey. I've given you recipes to use for your leftover uh, Thanksgiving dinner. So everything that's incorporated on Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, check this iCard right here and it will show you the leftover Thanksgiving turkey casserole recipe I did last year for Thanksgiving. Okay, but today we're gonna do a little something different. We're gonna do a nice, easy, healthy turkey, not chicken, turkey noodle soup, okay? So like I said, we have leftover turkey breast over here. Uh, if you wanna see the video for that, how I did that in the, the pit barrel cooker, uh, click the link, one of these directions. Yeah, I mean, we're facing that problem that millions and millions of people face every year, what to do with that leftover turkey. Uh, I know that a lot of people love a nice turkey sandwich with some mayo and white bread and, you know, whatever, but I feel like the best use of it is just making a little turkey noodle soup. We're going to have some, uh, you know, carrots, onions, celery, real simple. We're going to saute those up. It's going to be awesome. We're going to throw some uh, rosemary and thyme in there. Uh, the smoked turkey breast that we have here is gonna add a wonderful flavor to it. Um, I got these mini spaghetti noodles. So just little bite-sized bite -size noodles that we're just gonna throw in the broth. It's, uh, it's gonna be easy, easy peasy. All right, so uh, this will be a little quick video, but you know, you got a lot of stuff to do. You got some Black Friday shopping, right? So uh, we're gonna get this together and uh, we'll get you guys on your way, all right? Come over here, we'll chop up the onions and celery and carrots and all that, and uh, we'll get started, and we'll get you over on the stove, all right? Come on back. All right, guys, this is the ingredients that we have just for our simple turkey noodle soup. Obviously, we got a turkey, we got some chicken broth, spaghetti, carrots, celery, onions, thyme and rosemary, and uh, we'll get some salt and pepper in there too. All right, come on back. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready to do the saute on these uh, on these vegetables. So we're just gonna put just about a teaspoon of olive oil in there. All right, get that heated through, and then we'll add the vegetables. All right, we got this oil heated up. We're gonna put our veggies in. Woo, hear that sizzle. All right, we're gonna get these all sauteed up. We wanna keep the texture of the vegetables in there. We wanna soften them up a little bit, but we don't wanna make them non-existent. All right. Okay, we got this uh, little translucent, a little soft. It's time to add in the turkey. Now, if your turkey isn't smoked, don't worry. Your turkey can be in any way, roasted, fried, whatever. But I just happen to have smoked turkey, and I think it's going to add a wonderful flavor to it. All right, so we're going to get this kind of heated through. And then we'll, oops, 
pan slime mouth. Get this heating through, and then we'll add our stock to it and a little bit of water too, because these, because this uh, this turkey is all white meat, so it's gonna suck up that stock too quick. All right. So we will add water as necessary. Okay, it's time to add the chicken stock. So this is six cup, cups worth of chicken stock. And then I'll fill this up with two cups of water. All right, so we got our water here. Okay, let's get this stirred up. And there, since we're using a stainless steel pot, there's a little fawn on the bottom from uh, cooking the vegetables and the turkey. So I'm going to use the wooden spoon here and scrape all that up. Okay, I added salt and pepper to this already. Did that off camera. Use salt and pepper to taste. All right, I'm going to add in rosemary and thyme sprigs. And we're just going to let those simmer in it. I will pull them out. So once this all comes together, we're going to let this simmer for 30 minutes. And then we're going to put the spaghetti teeny, teeny spaghettis. And once this is simmered and kind of come to flavor up, come together and uh, ready to go. We're going to put this on a low temperature and just let it kind of come together. So in 30 minutes, we'll add our noodles. We'll pull out these herbs and uh, it'll be another 10 minutes or so and we'll be ready to eat. All right, guys, it's been going for a good half hour now. Looks like everything's nice and incorporated. I've pulled out the stems and the uh, stalks from the thyme and the rosemary. Some of the leaves came off, but that's okay. No big deal. Just add an extra flavor. All right, we're gonna add two cups of this little spaghetti. All right, we're gonna let this roll for another eight minutes or so. And then we'll be good to go with a nice warm bowl of turkey noodle soup. All right, guys. We're looking good. Noodles are done. Turkey's good. Got some nice flavors on top there. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. We're going to get this uh, put in a bowl. Get ready to eat. All right, guys. We're back. We got this thing in a bowl. Took the thumbnail. Did everything. This turkey noodle soup is the bomb. It was easy to do. Miss CJ loved it. So that's all that matters. Give it a shot. It's, it's something easy to do for your leftovers for Thanksgiving. Okay, so we're dropping this on Black Friday so you know what to do. So you can do this. You can have fun with it. I'm about to knock a little kid out. These two? Those two? Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. We're not here. They're all trying to hide. They're hiding. We're <laughs> probably not eating jacket. Yeah, they're not eating Jack in the Box while I make a nice, healthy, hearty soup. Little We're not eating. Duck! That's Brady Duck! Don't get no flavor. Flavor. Oh <laughs> Alright, this is obviously a nut house here. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for stopping by, and thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care. <laughs>